Okay, this is a video on U substitution, and this one is about a definite integral where you're actually, when you uh, compute the integral, you're going to compute it over a range with a lower limit and an upper limit. <clears throat> so anytime you have a problem like what I'm going to show you here, uh, that's the way you use my programs. Uh, you go to U substitution. I'm going to let's get started here. We're going to put second alpha and put I N D E X into the entry line of the calculator, then press alpha and put the eight in the open and close parentheses. Press enter, and you're into my menu. You have many many things on here. Notice graphing by hand and all kinds of things that are perfectly done and wonderfully done on these programs to help you with your tests and homework. And that's what we're interested in, is passing calculus and never to do it again. Um, so anyways, you can scroll up or down since you substitute, this is all alphabetical, so in, in, the, in this case we want you substitution, so we might press the upper cursor to go up to the bottom menu, which is you substitution here. Notice you have trig uh, DDX and integrals here for trigs and uh, half angle formulas, all kinds of things you'll need in calculus uh, one for sure. And then I have other programs for calculus two and three. So we press enter, we're into use substitution. And generally you press alpha and put your function in here. You have to press alpha first and then put the function in. But I've already done that to speed up the video, so I'm going to, I always show you, this is the function we're doing. I haven't put the limits in yet, so you have to recognize that. You're gonna do the integral first, and then at the end I ask you if you wanted to do the um, range for the area, or limits. Now, um, I always show you what you entered. You can change it if you want. I say it's okay and we're going to evaluate this integral here. <clears throat> now you notice the derivative of 3x to the 5 is really 15x to the 4, and here's an x to the 4, so if you didn't have my calculator, that's what you're really looking at every time you look at an integral. You say, well, is the inside, can you do the derivative to make it equal to the outside somehow? And, but I do that for you in my programs. We always rewrite it. Anytime you have a number or a constant inside the integral, you take it outside the integral here, like I've done here in my program, and then you evaluate the integral inside. But also when you need to rewrite it, you need to take this x to the four and put it over here by the dx, x to the four dx. And then you choose u, which is three x to five plus two inside the parentheses, and the derivative of that is 15 x to the four. Anytime you have a number here before the x, you need to transpose it to the other side by division. So you're going to, uh, which I do here now, du divided by 15 equals x4 dx. You notice that this equals the what we re rewrote in the beginning here. And so we know that that's a u substitution problem. And I ask you that too, because I need to check that before. And so I ask you if it's x to the four equals x to the four. If, it's, if it says yes, if, if they're equal, then you say yes. If, of course, if it's not equal, you say no. If you say no, then you're into logarithms because in integrals, you can't uh, do integrals with a time sign or a division sign. You need to separate it into plus or minus um, parts so that you can integrate it. And that's what logarithms do. Uh, for instance, times are you're taking a, a log of one factor plus the log of the other to, in times. In division, you're taking the log of one factor minus in division times the log of the, of a, the other factor. So anyways, that does equal, so we're going to get on with this. I show you write all this on your paper exactly like it. Write it kind of sloppy because... Um, Students and, and people that really know this stuff write sloppy. Uh, that's been my experience, including professors. They scribble because they want to make everybody uh, know that they're geniuses at this stuff. So you do the same. Uh, don't write it clean like this. Write it sloppy. And um, here's the answer here, right here. After you do all the U, you notice that you had DU oh, divided by 15. you got to bring that outside the integral, which I do, 1 15 over 6 here. Multiply that together, which equals two-fifths. 
Then you do the integral of u to 6, which you add 1 to the 6 and divide, which equals 7, and divide by 7, u7 7 divided by 7. Well, then you have to do the computation there. 7 times 5 is 35, so you have 2 over 35. Now you substitute back in the u, which is 3x5 to plus 2, and you have your answer, plus c. Now, a really tricky part here is I ask you if you want to evaluate the range. You can press one here and, and do it. Uh, let's do the limit which I put in there is number one for the lower range, the lower limit, and number two for the upper limit. And so here's the integral that I showed you at the beginning of the video right here. Uh, that what's, which is called a definite integral. You're actually going to uh, find the area under the curve. And again, if there's a mistake in, the, in the adding the limits, I ask you that so that you can change them if you want. Now you're going to substitute, if, if, if x equals 1, then u equals, remember we decided u e equals uh, this, uh, and then you, you add the 1 in there and multiply it out and you get 5, okay? If x equals 2, you put this exactly on your paper, here's what you're doing, u equals 3x2, and then you, that equals 98. So you have the, uh, the u substituted here, and you have over the upper limit 98 and 5. Notice you can't use 1 and 2 for the limits because you've changed it to the u system. So, And then um, with u equals 98, the upper limit, you have to go back to the original function and put it in here, original integral that you've uh, found, and that equals 4.96e to the 12. And then when, and then the lower limit is 5, so u is 5, so you're adding that into the, uh, into the original function, or for u, for u, and then we get 4.6e to the 3. You subtract the upper limit from the, uh, the lower limit from the upper limit, here's the area under the curve, 4.96e to the 12 square units. Um, notice how fabulous these programs are and how they will help you so much, even in learning uh, this stuff, let alone passing tests or, or homework. So you can buy my programs at um, everystepcalculus.com and uh, enjoy my programs and uh, pass calculus.